de sortis bridge now the de sortis bridge is one of the most simplest bridge you can ever make uh, let's make it in a very easy way draw four points here is a capacitor here is a capacitor here is a resistance here is a resistance the galvanometer or deflector is present in the between is our supply we suppose potential this is our E1 this is our E3 this is our E2 this is our E4 okay, E1 means between the potential between these two points E2, E3 means potential between these three points. Suppose let me give it a name A, B, C, D. So between A and B, potential is E1. Between B and C, potential is E3. Between A and D, E2. And between C and D, it's E4. Okay? So let's uh, have a look at the more uh, neat diagram. So this is our actual Desortis bridge diagram. So what happens? The current goes from here. I1 and this splits into I2 I1 and I2 I1 goes till this and now at the balance condition there is no deflection in this so no current flows through this so this I1 current flows through this resistor so this is also I1 similarly this I2 current flows from here since there is no uh, movement of current in this path so I2 also moves uh, freely so this I2 and this I2 are same, same current so at balance there is no deflection in the galvanometer or a deflector that is zero so E1 is equals to E2 and E3 is equals to E4 now since uh, E1 is equals to E2 what we have I1 into C1 that is the impedance X C1 X C1 equals to 1 by J omega C1 or in a more uh, easy way it is set Z1 that is 1 by J omega C1 this impedance is called 1 by Z, J omega C2 this resistance or impedance R3 and Z4 equals to R4. This is our impedance. Okay, so at balance condition, what happens? Z1 into Z4 equals to Z2 into Z3, Z2 into Z3. This, so we will simply equate this Z1 is 1 by J omega C1 and Z4 is R4. So this equals to Z2 into Z3, 1 by J omega C2 into R3. We equate this and get C1. This is our main objective. What uh, we are doing uh, is, we are having this uh, apparatus suppose. So our C1 is the unknown capacitance and C2 is the known capacitance. This, this, this value we will be getting and we need to find the value of this capacitance so basically we all did the uh, whole process to calculate this C1 so by doing this we get the value of capacitance okay so this is actually the simplest method of comparing to capacitan uh, capacitances uh, the phasor diagram for this is also very easy uh, at the balanced condition what we found is E1 is equals to E2 and E3 is equals to E4 so E3 E4 are same so this is our path for the E3 E4 I1 R3 I2 R4 E1 E2 equals to uh, this as I said in the last page this is the axis and the resultant potential we will draw a simple line Add this to and we get the potential. Thank you.